girl she says two s is not one and we are here on party 101.9 and the iheart radio platform with vh1's finest miss mo money yes mo money okay? how you doing love i'm here you look good okay don't i always in my Listen, pink ass suit tonight right right yeah. like not much people can pull off the green with the orange you know oh, i like to look like a pumpkin <laughs> It's like Halloween is not over yet, you know. I'm I'm stretching it out throughout, you know. But color here, I'd be like, yo, I don't know if I should put this on. But then I'd be like, man, I don't give a fuck. I'm an artist. It doesn't matter. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. Stretch your own trend. Why not? Be who you are. Period. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to ask you, how do you stay so, like, fit and bomb? Like, what are some tips and advice you could give to others who are, like, getting ready for their New Year's resolution? I am probably the bad person for advice. No, I'm lying. You know what? <laughs> I am actually lying because my holes, because I sound like a man. But every morning, I do herbal life. Okay. I've been doing that for like the past seven years. I go, I get a shake in the morning. That's a meal replacement. Nice. So I don't really do breakfast. That'll be my breakfast. Wow. Okay. And then I'll do a lunch, but it'll be light. You know, I, I watch what I eat. I'm not a, a rice eater. Mm -hmm. I love burgers, though. And that's my weakness. Girl. Girl. Burgers. Yes. And cheese. Cheese yes. is like, oh. Uh. Okay. So, like, with breakfast, does it give you, like, energy? Because I feel like I realize breakfast is, like, super important. Like, I need breakfast. So, so. It's, a, it's a replacement. So, you do a, a shake, a tea, mm -hmm. and the aloe water. And you nice. have to drink it all then. So, like, you'll be full. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. And then you snack, you know. So, if I'm yeah. doing my breakfast at, like, let's say 9 or 10 a.m., I'm not going to be hungry until 1 Dope. Okay. Then I want to eat something healthy. I'll go get me like a grilled chicken. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, listen. I'm like, my, my New Year's goal is to get a little bakery in the back. You know, I heard you got the bakery. Yeah, I got the bakery. I, so, I, I thought I just like, had the cake, but I got the listen, whole bakery like, I heard recently. I'm trying to like preheat my oven right now. Like, I'm trying to get my <laughs> life together. Like, <laughs> I guess it comes from getting no dick. Because okay. I think I'm, I'm like on a cleanse right now. Oh, wow. No Zozo? None. It's it's terrible in these streets. Oh, my gosh. You got to be yeah. careful. These men are starting and popping. Yeah, you know, I'm going to drop homes. all of mine, too. No, nah, I don't know. Like I, really, I really can't tell you, but got like you. I eat anything. I haven't been to the gym in a long time. I need to start. like. Wow. Yeah, it's really bad. I'm, I feel like I'm getting a but whole you can't tell. now. No, but you can't tell. That's that's really like amazing. But you're always active, too. You're booked and busy. I am active. So that's why. I'm I'm always active. Got you. That's why I sound like that. <laughs> So let's talk about Love and Hip Hop really quick, because I want to know. It's been a while since you've been on, it's, and I yes. want to know, like, are you going to be back? What's what's happening? Mona, am I going to be back? Because yes. I'm tired of going on interviews, sis, and people and asking I me. <laughs> um, I need to figure this out. No, that's so true. What is your relationship with Mona Scott? You know, it's so, it's so weird, because people think that Mona has, like, a lot of involvement or like she's hands on. Mm -hmm. But from my season, me speaking from my season and my mm -hmm. personal experience, she's only on set if you're like a main character or if you have Got like you. a major scene. Okay. Which was a little weird for me because my yeah. first season and every major producer was on set for every one of my shots. Oh, wow. Stephanie Gale. I mean, but you guys had there. a big storyline too within that season. They just knew I was a tick, tick, boom. So <laughs> they had to make sure they catch all my scenes. Right. But yeah, usually Mona's not really like involved. She's only involved, I guess, to make sure everything is done oh, properly. Right, right, right. Like you don't really see Mona every day. Oh wow, that's that's so shocking to me because I feel like with Mona too, even like the stories you hear from her, like she always got like a vendetta going on within her seasons. So I wanted to know like about BBOD because I wanted to know did she? She's known for her like breakups of loving hip hop, relationships loving hip hop, weddings of loving hip hop. Mm. So was she? Did she play a part in the breakup of BBOD? No. Um, no, I don't think she played a part in the breakup of BBOD at all. I actually think that it was just something that was bound to happen. Okay. Like, you know, listen, you have to think of it like this. When you go to television, people's true colors come out. Right. right. And that's just what it is. You mm -hmm. know, I'm not saying Speak that facts. Lexi wasn't the best friend, but she could have been a better friend. She could have been more protective. Right. So to me, I feel like, you know, your true colors come out. Got you. It shows who you're really riding for, who you're really riding with. Like, I bring this up to everybody. The word do it, do it that I use on the show. Mm -hmm. 
Now, people look at it as, do it, do it, I'm violating you or I'm coming at you. No, do it, do it. It's like, sis, girl, yes. Okay, daughter, how you doing? Get me out there. <laughs> That's daughter. Now, it depends on how you say it. Like, I can send you to him. Like, girl, bye, daughter. <laughs> but you. she knows it's a playing thing. And the way that she said it on the show was as if we don't play like that. Right. And it was like, oh, here go Mo with that do it, do it word again. And it's like, bitch, stop it. Right. So to me, certain things, I've never spoke on it. But when I look back at it, it, it is hurtful. Yeah. And that's just what it is. No, I agree. And it's always, like, it's worse, like, when it's your own friend. You know, like, that's what's super hurtful, mm-hmm. honestly. Um, but I, like, I saw you guys on the Mel, um, Mel Robin, Robin show. show. Shout out to Mel. She was, <laughs> it was, it, you know, I would, when I went into it, I didn't know what to expect. Right. And then when we did it, I had a really good time. Nice. I learned things from it. All of the cast members, I mean, all of the producers, excuse me, all mm-hmm. of the producers were really friendly. Okay. And they kept telling us, like, you know, we don't want to make you guys look bad. We just want you guys to realize where you both went wrong or yeah. what position you played in, in, in the breakup of the right. deal. So rather than them having us fight and argue and look crazy on TV, mm-hmm. I, don't, I felt like it was more of a positive show. No, I definitely And agree. I really liked it. I definitely agree. I feel like it definitely put you both in a great mature light, you mm-hmm. know? Um, but what were some things that you did learn through that? And did you guys make up? Like what's the status yeah. now? So we are we are um cordial. Okay. We are following each other back on um social media. Again. Nice, okay, okay. Um as far as like us speaking on the phone, no, we don't speak on the phone. Got you. Um so that's that's what it is. Very much cordial. Like, that's cordial. No, I got you. It is what it is. is. Like, yeah, of course, of course. Got you. Okay. So let's get into your music, though. You know, we got to get into this independent mode. You know, she got her (laughs) own thing, you know? Mm -hmm. (laughs) So you dropped your EP, Bite. What does Bite stand for? Bite, bitch, I'm trying to eat. Oh, okay. But why did you you name name it that? You know what? It... (laughs) Bite is something that I would always say to, like, guys that I dated. Mm-hmm. So they'll be like, oh, what you doing? Are you running around with that music? Yeah, bite. Bitch, I'm trying to eat. <laughs> trying to get in my coin. You think I want to boss? I want to work for myself. <laughs> and that's, like, so when the album came out and it was about all of these men that played um, roles in my life and right. that the songs are about, it's like, oh, this is perfect. Mm-hmm. These are the same no good motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. That was telling me not to do this and come, let's chill and let's cuddle and let's fuck that. I'm trying to eat. Period. And that's that's what it is. Got you. That's okay. <laughs> I think it's interesting that you have five songs on there. Mm-hmm. Um, one stripper's anthem. I love that song. That song is tough. Yeah. That song is tough, girl. All my like, strippers out there. Listen, I'm not even a stripper. I'm over here like, hey, right, like. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really love that song and vibes. You just dropped your video, um, video for that. Yeah. So what what is vibes about? So vibes is about um, a character, Got and you. his name is Daddy Daryl. That's his nickname. Okay. So Daddy Daryl was the guy that I felt like was the perfect person that I was probably going to be with for the rest of my life. He was so supportive. But he always had bullshit going on with him. Mm. He had a baby mama that he wouldn't get rid of, but he would tell me that he's not dating her. And she was a fan and then became not a fan. And oh. It was just like shade in it. And, you know, even if you see this interview, girl, I didn't know nothing about you. I'm not that type of person to steal right, nobody's right, man. Right. That's just what it is, you know. And, and as women, men lie to us all the time. Yes. And we let them trick us. Into Ooh, say believing, that again. Say that again. We let them trick us into mm-hmm. believing the bullshit. Like, yeah. we help them fool us. Mm-hmm. And that's just what it is. Like, I want to empower women and let them know, like, yeah, I might play on Instagram and I might act like I'm this and I'm that. But, bitch, I go through the same thing y'all all go through. Right. I done been through situations where I'm in the crib and this lying-ass nigga girl done came and I had to whip her ass. <laughs> so, like, I've been through all the things that other females been through. Right. And that's what I wanted to express on my tape. Got you. You know, you look really good in that video, too, girl. Listen, <laughs> like, you had a little kitty cat bathing suit on, too, I, I for did, that one. I did. You know, oh, I think that's like your spirit animal. I think animal. the kitty cat is my vibe. Yeah, it might be a spirit animal, you it know? It might be. Listen, okay. So, I want to talk about features. Okay. Because um, you had a couple of features on there. I Why did. did you choose the features that you you had? 
So um, everybody, when they choose features, they're big on like artists that are popping or artists that can take them to the next level or everything that people do now is for clout. Right. And I felt like I wanted to showcase real talent. Like there's people that's around me that's more talented than the motherfuckers that's out right now. Yeah. Why not try to not even help them? Like, but why not try to showcase their talent or help them, you know, better their career or just vibe out? Like, it doesn't have to be Rick Ross or Lil' right. Kim or Nicki Minaj or this person to do a feature with. Like, I could do a feature with Joe Blow from The Block, and that shit might be a hit. Right. So, it, it, I believed in them as artists. I'll just say that. No, I love that because I feel like you need those kind of advocates that help you. Like, you have the platform, so why not help others, you know? like. And listen, my platform, I'm, I'm still grinding, too. I true, get it. True. I get it just as hard as up-and-coming artists. Yeah. I'm still an up-and-coming artist. I, I mean, I get to my bag, bookings, hello, hit me up. <laughs> but it, I love the it, plug. It's, still, it's still a grind at the end of the day. Right. And, like, it don't cost me a dollar to help you. No, yeah. That's so true. And at the end of the day, I'm still in fans, too. Right. It might be somebody. Are... It might be somebody that this person that I did a record with that have six thousand fans. Mm -hmm. Maybe three thousand of them don't know who I am, and now they do. That's a great way to look at it, honestly. It, listen, I don't look at anything as like, oh, I'm just helping. No, it's we're helping each other. That, that's so true. So, who would you like to do features with? Ooh. Okay. So let's let's see. <laughs> I always wanted to work with Nikki. Like okay, I, I feel okay. like a lot of females throw her shade, or it's like everybody is attacking her. To be the next bitch. And it's like, I'm not for that. I'm, I'm like, female empowerment. Like, mm -hmm. I fuck with everybody. I don't have beef with anybody. Mm -hmm. I don't want to beef with anybody. If you don't like me, that's on you, girl. Yeah. But, like, we got to think of it. When we were in high school, who we heard on the radio? That that's that so was true. our, that was the Nikki, bitch that yeah. made it possible for she us. She was, she was. So it's like, I would love to work with Nikki. I'm the number one Beyonce fan in the world. Oh, yes, B. Queen okay. B. Okay. Um... I'm, I, I like to listen to old music, too. Like yeah. Real old music. Like, my family is very Southern. So, like, I love, like, I love The Temptations. Oh, my gosh. Really? Tina Turner is, like, my idol. Like, it, it's amazing. Like, people don't know this, but, like, I sit home and watch old music and old artists and watch their performances and steal things from them. Wow. Rather than stealing things from what everybody's doing now. Doing now, yeah, of course. But as far as, like, new artists, um... Of course, like let's see who's popping. Like I like Pop Smoke. Yeah. Definitely Shout out to Brooklyn. Favi and and <laughs> and that crew. Um, who else I like? Um, I would definitely work with Cardi. Okay. Um, I like women. Um Meg. What about Meg? You got the stallion? -y? I, I like the stallion. Okay, I like the stallion. Okay. Um, who else do I like? Summer Walker. I remember yes. the, the baby with your fine ass. Listen, I was going to say, you have vibes. He has a song called Vibes. Like, I know. Y'all need, like, oh need to make this happen. Y'all need to make this happen. Why not? I like the baby. My baby daddy. I'm sorry, Megan. Money bag, yo. <laughs> <laughs> if they even go out now, but, you know. Right, but this is, continue. like, these. Are, I like a lot of artists. Like, I'm willing to work with whoever want to collab with me, and that's yeah. just what it is. Okay. Oh, shout out to... You know what song I really like, and I don't think that they're getting enough recognition right now. Ooh. The new song "Thought Box" with the females. Yes, I felt like the, that was the most um, well thought, mm -hmm. put together track, and I feel like each and every one of those females fucking killed it. No, I agree. I agree. killed it. I, agree. I don't feel like anyone did better than I felt like that track was amazing. I agree. So I would work with any of you ladies too. Yes. Okay. I like that. So what is your favorite song on your EP so far? Like, what are you bopping to the most? <laughs> Woo, which one? It used to be Options. Okay. Now, um, I listen to Vibes all the time. I don't know. It's just, a, I don't know. The song is just actually, it's a vibe. It's a, yeah. Stripper's Anthem is it's becoming my favorite because everybody else <laughs> likes it. Like, <laughs> Stripper's Anthem is my father's favorite. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He be dancing to it and like wow. it's hilarious. Like it's hilarious to me. But oh yeah. my god, we have to get a video of that. Like that would be so. <laughs> like when you go to Thanksgiving, like play that song. Let me see. I'm like, show you how he moves with that you. song. Oh I'm my gosh, you. that's bringing out an inner like inner thing for him. Like I don't know, but he like he was like, man, this is my favorite fucking song that you ever made. <laughs> like damn, daddy. It's <laughs> hilarious. So why did you have this song only on Audio Mac? Like, what's good with Spotify? What's so, good with Apple? You that know? was a great question. So I wanted to um, show numbers. 
Got you. Since this is a numbers game. Um, you know, and I feel like I'm gaining a fan base on my Audio, Ma Audio Mac account because that's the platform that I use the most mm. as far as me putting out my um, my freestyles and new singles. That's where I pr pretty much put all my music. Mm. And my following is huge. Like, Bite is out only a month, and I'm at 120,000 streams a fact. and downloads. You're the reason why I downloaded it. I was Ow, like... shout out Audio Mac with my interview. <laughs> right. <let me> <laughs> So yeah, like I really, I really like that platform. I feel like they support a lot of the new artists. Yeah, you know, up and coming artists, and it's, I feel like it's a new SoundCloud. Got you, got you. I don't know. It's just what I liked. I don't know. I yeah, really don't have listen. any. Listen, no, listen. Like, well, it'd be from everybody to one place, mm -hmm. right? As opposed to sending them to ten places. Oh well, that was a good answer. But that's no, true. I didn't think of it like that, but yeah. No, that's, true. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you have her in the back, you know, like. <laughs> So I wanted to play a game with you really quick. Oops. Yes, I yes, guess. yes. A little mini game. All right. Um, so this is called, what would Mo spend money on? Mm. Right? Okay. So I'm just going to give you like a couple of um, <laughs> like this or that. And I just want to know, what would you spend money on? Okay. All right. So Chanel or YSL? YSL. Why I so? mean, you know what? Yeah, why so? Like, I don't even, I don't even think. Oh no, I do have two Chanel bags, but I don't know. Like, why so? I okay. feel like it's more of a reasonable, reasonable price, right? You know, there's other little girls that probably look up to me, and I don't want their mom spending five and six grand on a bag. True. True. Why so is more affordable, so hmm. that's what I would go with. Okay. Good I ain't answer. no fool. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, Chanel, though. Right, right. It's so cute. Um, a mansion or a penthouse? I'm more of a, a penthouse type of girl. I guess mm. because I'm I'm alone. I don't have any kids. I don't have no man. So mm -hmm. it's like a house. I'll start hearing shit and be walking around, looking, hearing <laughs> <laughs> creeps and like what's going on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so a, a, a penthouse. Got you. Fruity cereal or oatmeal? Uh, oatmeal. I'm not really a cereal girl. Got you. Okay. Jeans or leggings? Je uh, not no jeans, girl. I need the <laughs> leggings so you can see this see bakery, bakery like and all this cake that I got back here. I need it to jiggle and wobble <laughs> when I thought walk. Yes. Okay. Let's let's cut this really quick. So the thought walk. What is this about? What is the thought walk about? Because I see this. You're creating a movement. You're creating a movement. So thought walk is you being comfortable in your own skin. Got you. Like... Show it off. Like, I don't care. Do do you. That walk. Like, <laughs> who cares? Like, I don't care what he say, she say, I bitch, I look good. That walk. Okay. Yes. So let's go back to the game. Your school tuition, would you pay money for, would you pay for school or just go straight to your career? Hmm. So I went to school. Like, mm -hmm. I went to college. Okay. So I would definitely, um, why not do both? I have That's to pick true. one. You could take both. I would do both. I mean, listen, I sell cars. I do music. I have hair, a hair company. You have, a millionaire does not have one business. Mm. You have to be active. We only got 24 hours in a day. That's so true. That's so true. The minute you sit down, the minute you're going broke. That's so true. So that's just what it is. And it's always good to educate yourself. Like, don't be embarrassed to educate yourself. There's nothing wrong with going to school and Getting an education, mm. you always will have something to fall back on. Now, I'm not saying get your ass in debt up to the gazulu. <laughs> right, but, right, right. But, you know, um, we're going to need this government to provide some type of free education because college is ridiculous. And once you get out of college and you're so over your head in debt, mm -hmm. how are you even going to start to even live? Your true. credit is so fucked up, you can't go get a house, a car, nothing. That's so true. So, like, we got to do better. Yes, yes. <laughs> Jewelry or clothes? This is the last question. <laughs> jewelry or clothes? Um, jewelry. I would spend my money on jewelry because if I was to ever go broke, I can pawn it. It's something of value. Smart. Okay. Clothes, I mean, I can sell it, but what whole value? It's going to be a value. value, yeah. You're so right. You're so right. Especially because, like, nowadays with... The way clothes are like one minute it's in style, next minute it's out of style. Girl, give me you know? a pair of five dollar leggings and I'm lit. <laughs> I 
I really don't care about clothes. Like I'm, I do and I don't. Like I'm not someone that's like big on brands and stuff. Like mm -hmm. you can name a new pair of sneakers and I won't know what the hell you talking about. If I like it, I buy it. I don't care if it's something out of Walmart, Target, ten dollars. This is from the ten dollar spot, okay? Oh really? Let me tell you, I don't care nothing about spending my money on no fashion. No, I like I will. If it's something I like, I will work to go get it. But as far as like, no. So you're not a brands person. You just wear I what like you like. I like brands. I, I wear what I like. That's just what it is. Got you. Let me let me know the plug of this girl. You know, I need to <laughs> go to that store too. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so what are some advice you could give to up and coming artists, um, on the same like level as you, or even just trying to start off right now? Mm. Um, you're gonna get stared the wrong way. So many people are going to tell you, do this this way, do that that way. You have to remain true to yourself. Mm. And um, you have to stay active. Like, a lot of artists think that it's just going to come to them. Right. And what they don't know is, if you're not working for yourself, why would someone else work for you? You have to grind. Like, you, this, listen, social media has made this game so much easier for mm. us. And hard at the same time because now it's like I'm not liking this bitch page if she only got 30, 30 likes. Like right. people will really look at that shit and not like your post Must because be. you only have 35 likes. So like you just have to stay active. You have to believe in yourself. You have to grind. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. Anything is possible as mm -hmm. long as you really put in the legwork. That's so true. And that's just what it is. Be true to yourself. Wow. Thank you so much. So what 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 do you have in the works? What's for like 2020, Mo Money 2020? What's happening? <laughs> so I have a few upcoming shows. Okay. Um, I'm doing a show with um, this company called Major Stage, which they've been supporting. Oh, Major Stage is dope. They've been supporting me since BBOD. Nice. So like um, this is one of our big shows that we're going to do. And of course, I'm going to be the headliner. Um, what else do I have coming up? Jesus, it's so much. I have more interviews. Okay. Um, I'm going to drop another tape as well. Nice, okay. I got, listen, I got like three, four tapes in the bag ready to go. <laughs> okay? I'm just letting y'all know this. Um, what else am I? Oh, I'm also coming out with a sex line. Really? Yeah, I'm going to do a, a, a sex toy line. Okay. And the reason why I want to do a sex toy line is because I'm on a podcast that talks about sex relationships and stuff like that. Mm. And I find it very, very interesting. So I want to, you know, I want to touch on some of those dildos. Mm. And being that I'm single, okay. like, you know, I'm single. So right, like, yeah. You don't need a man to please you all the time. Say that again, girl. Okay. You, you speaking, you preaching today. You don't need like... a man to please you. And men, you don't have to keep using that motherfucking excuse, I made a mistake. No, there's pussy pockets out there. <laughs> <laughs> don't keep saying you made a mistake and she was and I was drunk. I don't want to hear that shit. Right. Ladies, get your man a pussy pocket from Mo. Oh. And if he cheat, then leave him alone. Would you think of collabing with Safari since he has his own line as well? Oh, he has a dildo, right? Or something like that? Yeah, something. <laughs> but I mean, when we collab on his dildo is his dick. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I mean, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, maybe we can. Figure it out, all right? Yes, okay, we can figure okay. something out. Figure something out. Um, so, any more visuals coming out for any of your yes, songs? Yes, I am going to drop the visual for Stripper's Anthem. Yeah, I'm gonna work on that, and I'm yes. gonna um, I'm gonna put that out. I'm gonna make it real spicy and sexy. Oh, okay. Because I just feel like that's what I need more men fans. Yeah, definitely. So you know, sex sells, and of course, Stripper's Anthem is is definitely hot, and the men like that, and they want to see how you ride it and. The mm. mega knees and nah, so, so <laughs> you know, I'm gonna might have a whole pole show y'all my inner thought. Oh, <laughs> so inner kitty right there, the inner, the inner kitty. thought kitty cat. <laughs> yes, <Okay>. yes, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Mo Money. No, thank y'all. Oh, make sure y'all follow me. Yes, follow me on Instagram, Miss Mo Money, M S M O E M O N E Y. You can check out my social media handles. You can follow me on Facebook at Miss Mo Money. You can follow me on Twitter at Miss Mo Money. You can follow me on any social media site there is out there. Miss Mo Money, check out my website, www.missmomoney.com. And, oh, I'll be selling all my products on there, too. Nice. Check it out. Yes, guys, this has been Shay Says, 2 as is not one. We're here every Sunday, <laughs> 7 to 9 p.m. Make sure you check us out, and we'll see y'all later.